There's nothing like the scent of fresh lemons and their citrusy tartness always adds a zesty twist to any dessert. Pair that with the creamy deliciousness of Philadelphia cream cheese and you get the triple whammy, cool, creamy, and refreshing. I'm Claudia Signaleone and welcome to The Real Women of Philadelphia on PaulDean.com. This weekend I'll be traveling to Charlotte, North Carolina to attend a graduation ceremony. And after the ceremony there's going to be a light brunch and it's going to have a dessert bar. And we have been asked to bring a dessert. So I immediately thought about how I was going to incorporate my Philadelphia cream cheese which is a long-standing dessert tradition, especially here in the South, into this dessert. So first it was a matter of deciding which dessert I was going to make. And I said, hmm, since I'm going to Charlotte, a Charlotte might be a good thing. So I went into my refrigerator and I found that I had the whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. Now, I don't know about you guys, but even from a little girl, Philadelphia cream cheese was always included in any desserts and especially if the dessert was going to be for a special occasion. Not that that's the only time that you need to use your Philly because it works well in the dessert, but for special occasion desserts, it is almost always expected. So I pulled out all my Philly and I had some lemons and I whipped up this luscious lemon chiffon Charlotte. This Charlotte actually can serve two people, or even four, if you want to cut it into four and make it small desserts. But however you serve it, they're going to love it. So now we're ready to start making my lemon chiffon Charlottes. I'm going to be making four of them in these little ramekins. But this dessert is easily transitioned into any type of square pan or round pan that you might have. And then you can just cut it into how many ever servings you want prepare the lady fingers. Now the lady fingers are going to serve as the wall that's going to be the mold to hold the charlotte together. A charlotte is typically a molded dessert with some kind of cream inside. Most commonly they're done with berries but we're going to do a more contemporary version of it and add some nice citrusy flavor to this rendition with our lemons. So here I have one lemon that I've gone ahead and juiced. And I've also um, cut it into slices, thin slices that I'm going to twist to use for the garnish that you saw on top of there. And also I've zested it because I'm going to add some nice lemon zest to the whipped topping. That's the top layer of our lemon charlotte. So all you want to do is you just want to lay out your lady fingers. And you're going to need about 12 lady fingers um, if you make this size. You're going to need 12 lady fingers as the border. And then you're going to need about uh, four other ones for the bottom, as the bottom crust, and the middle crust for the charlotte. So we're just going to take our brush, and we're basically just going to brush our lady fingers on the inside with the lemon juice. Once we basted our lady fingers with the lemon juice, we're just going to go ahead and place them standing up inside of our ramekin. Easy just like that. Doesn't have to be perfect. Stand them right up. And then in the bottom we're going to place two face up right down in the bottom of our ramekin. So now let's get started making our chiffon for our charlotte. First thing we're going to need is about uh, two room temperature eggs and I'm just going to separate them because we're just going to use the egg white. Go ahead and sprinkle them with some cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is a spice that's used to make egg whites creamier. I use it sometimes even um, when, I'm, when I'm making omelets, but I use it a lot in baking to make my eggs creamier and it's going to add some wonderful creaminess to these eggs that are going to be part of the lemon chiffon. Here in my mixing bowl I have our two egg whites and our cream of tartar. And now it's time to whip this up until it's nice and creamy. Perfect. See how shiny and satiny they look? That's the beginning of a great chiffon. Now it's time to prepare our lemon cream. And we do that by blending some lemon curd with some Cool Whip with our Philadelphia cream cheese. We're going to whip that up together until it's nice and smooth. Then we're going to fold our eggs inside that, whip it up some more, 
and then we're going to have lemon chiffon. So now we're ready to go ahead and make our lemon cream. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to add four ounces of our Cool Whip. Six ounces of our whipped Philadelphia cream cheese. And our lemon curd. So now we have the two basic components of our lemon chiffon ready. We have our lemon cream here and we have our egg whites that are uh, beaten until they're nice and shiny and satiny. So we're just going to go ahead and we're going to incorporate and give them a light Now our chiffon is ready. I'm just going to pop it in the refrigerator while we make our cream just so that it stays cold. So we've got our lemon chiffon all made. So now we just got to make the topping that goes on top. In my bowl, I have our Cool Whip. And to that, we're going to add our Philadelphia whipped cream cheese. Yes, more cream cheese. And we're going to add our powdered sugar, two tablespoons. And one teaspoon of lemon zest. And we're ready. Now we're ready to put together our lemon chiffon charlottes. So here I am ready. I have both our uh, lemon chiffon and I have our uh, cream to go on top. And I'm just going to start putting together the rest of our charlottes. I already have our little lady finger uh, molds ready. And um, I've also gone ahead and I've transferred some of the, the cream to my piping tool. But again, I'll show you how to do one if you don't have this great tool. And we're just going to stand our lady fingers up. And we're going to put two down in the bottom. And baste them. Now we're going to go ahead and fill it first with our lemon cream. See how smooth and creamy and chiffon that is? Need about two scoops of that. And then we're going to place two more of our lady fingers in. Just some of our cream. Spread it around a little bit. And then I'm going to take my piping tool and just pipe some more of the cream right on top. If you don't have a piping tool, you can just leave it flat like it was. Okay, y'all, I'm just going ahead and I'm putting on my mint garnishes on my charlottes. I'm ready to eat right now, but if you want to just put them in the refrigerator for about 15 minutes, that'll make everything congeal and come together nice. Next time, you need to make a quick and easy dessert, whether for a special occasion or any time. Don't be a sourpuss. Make light of it and refresh one of your traditional recipes with Philadelphia cream cheese. Charlotte here I come.